So people are always asking why we feed feeds to animals that we could be feeding to humans. And a lot of people just don't understand that what we're feeding our animals isn't something humans would want to eat. For example, we start with alfalfa, throw that in the feed truck, a little bit of high fat canola meal, some ground corn, Some cotton seed. Ooh, that one looks really good. And some mill run. And then the last ingredient we would use is corn silage or grass silage, depending on what time of year it is, which is the whole corn plant chopped up. So we throw that in and it gets mixed like a big blender in a truck. And the end product is this delicious plate over here. Does that look like something you'd want to eat? Because I don't know, maybe if I threw a little salt and some pepper on there. Nope, still not something I want to eat. I better have a little bit of coffee to wash that down. So next time somebody asks, why we're feeding stuff to animals that humans could be eating, you'll know it's not really things that we want to eat. And actually, in a lot of cases, it's byproducts from human consumable foods, like the canola meal. It comes from us making cooking oil or the mill run. That's what's left after we are making wheat, things of that nature, and the cotton seed. Well, it's the byproduct of the clothes you're wearing.